The insert panel in Framer is an absolute goldmine of pre-made layouts, elements, and interactive components to level up our sites in just a few clicks. Let's take a quick tour to get familiar with all the great stuff we have right here at our fingertips. There are a couple of ways to get to the insert panel in Framer. We can either go to the very first icon on our toolbar and click insert, which brings up the panel on the left-hand side, or at any time, you can just press the letter I on the keyboard, which not only brings up the insert panel, but it also focuses the little search bar at the top of the insert panel. So you could quickly press I and then just start typing what you're looking for. So if I start typing YouTube, boom, there's that YouTube component. So that's a really handy way to access something if you're looking for something specific. Now, in terms of what's available to us here in the insert panel, we have a few different categories. We have basics, where you'll find entire page layouts that are pre-made for you. You can click or click and drag, and boom, you get this entire three breakpoint page layout for desktop, tablet, and mobile, all pre-designed for you. All you have to do is go in and edit the content or shift things around. So way easier to start with than just having a blank page. Back to the insert panel, if you don't need an entire page, you can also grab an individual section. And in addition to sections, you'll also find navigation bars as well as menus that you can use either in conjunction with those navigation bars or by themselves. Now, the CMS we haven't really dug into in this course. We're gonna have a whole other course dedicated to working with Framer's built-in content management system. But here, you will find collections and fields, which might not mean anything to you now. But once you start digging into the CMS and you have some content in there, this is where you can go to pull content directly onto the canvas and start designing with your own real data. Again, we'll get into that in another course. Then down below, we get into the fun stuff. In the creative category, you'll find some pre-made components that let you do things that would otherwise take a few extra steps or require some code. You'll find components like fit text, an animated arc of text that spins around and around, some pre-made scribbles, as well as a countdown timer, and some other creative fun stuff. Then we have the media category where you'll find images and videos, as well as components to embed third-party video players like Vimeo, YouTube, etc. You'll also find Lottie animations in here. You can embed a Spotify player. You can embed Apple Music. You can even embed an MP3 file of your own. Next, we have forms. And the very first thing you'll find in here is our own native form builder, which allows you to build a form without any code, without any third-party integrations. And we have a dedicated course on how to build awesome forms using Framer. But if you are working with a third-party service like Loops or Kit or MailChimp, we've also got some of those third-party components in here that you can drag onto the canvas. Then we have icons. And what's awesome about icons is that each of these is not an individual icon. These are entire icon libraries. So for example, if I grab a phosphor icon and drag it onto the canvas, it gives me a little house. Sure, that is one icon, but this represents the entire library of phosphor icons that we can toggle between using the properties panel on the right-hand side. And the same goes for all of these. Each one is a total jackpot of its own. Then we have interactive, where you'll find a bunch more Framer native components that you would otherwise need code to pull off. So here we've got a locale selector. If you're working with multiple locales and you want folks to be able to choose between different languages on your site, we have a Framer native search bar where you get a site-wide search without writing any code. We've got a cookie banner to stay GDPR compliant. We've got a ticker, slideshow, and even a carousel if you want images or logos that cycle by automatically. Pretty cool stuff. Then in the social category, we have things like Instagram and Facebook embeds, and we even have Google Maps. So if you need a Google Map for your contact page, this is where you'll find it. Then finally, we have our utility category, which has a few more of those third-party embeds you might be looking for, like Lemon Squeezy and Gum Road. But we also have some really handy native components like embed to embed your own snippet of HTML code. We have a button to copy specific code or text to the clipboard. We have a download button, which you can attach your own file to, as well as some additional third-party integrations. And there you have it. Like I said, the insert panel is a total goldmine. 
with everything from basic layouts to advanced interactive components. And it's all drag and drop. I'll see you in the next one.